How's it guys? Welcome to the channel. What angle would the sun have to be at for the shadows to be this straight? For this video, I'm going to be wrapping up sunsets for March. I know it's late, but I've been having network problems. What can I do? Once again, I'm starting with the 29th of January, so we can all bear in mind where the sun was back then, and then compare it to where the sun is now. One of the things I wanted to talk about is in all observations, whether you look at NASA or ESA, JAXA, any other agency or any other astronomer, what they have not found is a star orbiting a planet. We have yet, I'm not saying that it's not out there, but for all the millions upon millions of observations humanity has done ever since we discovered that the earth isn't the center of everything, we haven't seen a planet orbit a star. I don't know if you saw this past week, my friend Dead Kennedy in space, if you haven't subbed to him, please go check his channel. He gives a lot of good information and he takes a dig at many flat earthers. But this week, he showcased a very drunken, sobby Nathan Thompson. But in that video, Nathan Thompson says that he tells the truth. Now, I would like to officially invite Nathan Thompson to check out my channel if anybody who watches my video if you can just share this video with him or any of the other videos on my channel, I suggest the more recent ones where I've done a better job of editing it. Because Nathan Thompson has said that he has done the research. Now, what I would like you to do, Nathan, is to take your observations and compare it to my observations because you live in the northern hemisphere there in the united states and i live here in south africa and everything is different whether you like it or not whether you admit it or not everything is different now i suggest you look at your skies and because we are dealing with sunsets, you find a date for sunset, right? You look at it in real life and then go to dateandtime.com and put in a 12 hour difference. Or should I say, use a southern latitude like mine and compare the difference in time to when the sun sets for you and when the sun sets for me. I think that would help you get a clearer picture, firstly, of how big the earth is, and secondly, how different sunset works out for all of us on the earth. And then ask yourself, why is it different for everyone? As you guys know, one of my resources is dateandtime.com. So what I do is I make the real life observation and then I go to dateandtime.com and confirm my results. So this last time I went there, I actually got carried away when I looked again, two hours had passed because now they, they've got a beta nighttime map. And you can put in your date and time and it will show you what happened on that date, right? Where the sun set or which star is where in your skies. And one of the things I noticed is that Crux, the four stars that looks like a cross in the southeastern skies here in the southern hemisphere, I'm not sure if you guys see it there in the northern hemisphere but 
it only stays below the horizon for about four hours four to five hours and for most of its time it's above the horizon and this fascinated me and just like almost hit the nail that the earth is turning it's fascinating to me so i decided to explain it like this when you are sitting down when you aren't moving you are at rest but you are still in motion with the earth although you are still then when you stand up and start walking your speed becomes what the earth's speed is plus your speed right and that's why we have to look at it relatively because in reality you aren't moving 1602 kilometers per hour you are probably only mo moving two kilometers per hour and i'm just you know under exaggerating whatever speed you walk at so as we see the sun moving across the sky it isn't the sun it's you it's you with the earth we are the ones moving and the sun is still relative to our position if flat earthers can just wrap that little thought around their minds I think everything else will fall into place.